to my channel my name is Belinda and I'm so happy to see that you guys have tuned in to yet another video thank you so much for tuning in please like share and subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you're notified whenever I post another video this topic will be about dating in your late teens towards your early 20s I feel like it's a topic that we don't talk about enough so I'm going to give you eight pointers on what to watch out for, what to take into consideration when you start dating. I'm talking from like 17, 16 years up until 25, which is your early 20s. So your late teens into your early 20s. So I have my notes over here for me to just keep navigating if I'm still on topic and so that I don't lose the plot. So, so first and foremost, have fun. Stop taking relationships so seriously, sis. You're very young. You're very young and there's absolutely no reason for you to be convincing yourself that this man is going to marry you. Because 9 times out of 10, believe me, he's not going to marry you. You're going to meet 10 more frogs who are still going to lie to you the same way this guy has, has lied to you. And he, they're going to convince you that they can give you the world, but they won't. So... First and foremost, learn to have fun. Learn to enjoy the dating process. Learn to enjoy being taken out um, to those Goda dates and those cute dates to KFC and those cute dates to like Gold Rift City and theme parks and um, going out to group together with your boyfriend if you are legally allowed to. Please don't go out to group if you're too young. Just, yeah, don't. But yeah. Um, enjoy the relationship um, phase uh, especially when you're young like I feel like when we're young we get so hopelessly romantic and we get our hopes so high that you're already anticipating this um, a marriage I mean and it's not even part of the deal like why are you worried about marriage when you're 17 years old enjoy the relationship man you're still young experience this enjoy that experience and just let let go man just yeah let go of the worry of settling down you're still too young to worry about that number two this one is really 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 important to me and it's something that i've always wanted to talk about please if you can stay away from older guys or older men you have no business dating a 27 year old, a 26, uh, a 26 year old, a 30 year old, a 35 year old when you are 19, when you are 17, when you are 20, 21. 1.1. Those people have experienced life. They are well established. Men actually get established at a very young age. So they are well established and believe you me, their goals are not aligned with yours. So 9 times out of 10, he is not going to want to see you study further or succeed or anything he is going to want you to be his tiny little princess who listens to everything he does and nine times out of ten if this guy marries you um you won't be able to accomplish your goals he is going to make sure that he gets you pregnant and you're going to be isolated from your family he will manipulate you and he will convince you that you only need him most older guys unfortunately that date younger women are narcissists so nine times out of ten he's going to abuse you emotionally physically in any way you can imagine so sis if you are young date people your age there's nothing more beautiful than um jolo when you guys are young and you're figuring life out and you're still going on the gotta dates there's absolutely no reason for you to be 17 years old and be in a restaurant with an older man Trust me, we I'm speaking from experience. There's there's no reason for you to be there. So enjoy the dating stage. Enjoy that uh, um that weird feeling you have in your stomach when he asks you to come out and he's waiting at your gate at home and you guys are gonna walk to this puzzle shop while you're having a nice conversation. When you see him at school, that um that butterflies in your stomach feeling when you realize that you actually like him and you get to see him every day when you go to school because you guys go to the same school or you go to the same varsity or you share the same class maybe you do the same module in varsity that is the best feeling in the world you guys will grow together even if it doesn't work out um 
to a later stage but if you're below 25 years old believe you me sis you have no reason dating older men they are going to waste your time okay i know of people who have you know succeeded in their relationships with older men and they are good guys out there i'm not going to um paint everyone with the same paintbrush but nine times out of ten unfortunately most older guys who go for younger women prey on them they go for them because they believe that they have power over you and they want to feel you know um they want to feel in control and most of the time women they age challenge them they challenge their way of thinking so please babes if anything stay away from older guys enjoy your youth enjoy your innocence enjoy just being carefree you don't want to be having a child at 18 years old at 17 years old there's absolutely no reason for you to have to be having a serious relationship at that age um number three don't when you get into a relationship please let go of the mindset that you're gonna get married to them you're still very young i'm talking from your late teens to your early 20s stop trying to get married to every guy you date some people are just there to teach us a lesson some people are just there for us to learn what we don't want to experience in relationships some men you meet and you realize what i hear i never want to be with that type of man ever again in my life and it's perfectly fine you cannot look at every guy who comes your way and see your soulmate some are just there to give you some good dick you know some good d sorry for the strong language some people are just there to teach you what you don't want to experience at a later stage in your life so enjoy relationships um see people for who they are stop being naive this is why i'm here i'm teaching you the game i might not know it that well but i know a little some some and there's absolutely no reason for you to see a husband in every guy who shows interest in you number four Focus on your goals and stop giving too much in relationships. When you are that young, there's a lot going on in your life. You have school, you have hormones that are showing you flames, you're still navigating your way around life, you're still figuring yourself out, you're still figuring out what you want to do well within your future. There's absolutely no reason for you to be 18 years old and be taking Utabo Siras, Utabo at that time, Musala Lekai, under his mom's roof. Utabo, Utabo has nothing to offer you, my love. Tabo has nothing to offer you. Enjoy the relationship. Enjoy it. Just have fun. Umjolo is to, you know, that's why it's umjolo. You are dating. You're enjoying this experience. You're getting to know this guy. Okay, you, maybe you guys have been together for two years plus or however. You don't know what tomorrow brings for you. If you take the relationship too seriously, nine times out of ten, you'll get a scholarship in the USA and you'll end up not leaving because Utaba said if you leave, you'll never, um, he'll never call you again or never text you again. But then he has nothing to offer you. Okay, Tabo, I'm staying. What are you going to do for me? Next thing, you can't even have a bright future because you are running after Utaba. That time, Utaba left school at grade 10. Focus on yourself, baby girl. Enjoy relationships and take them at face value. Do not anticipate anything. Until a guy shows you how serious he is about you, take him at face value. Enjoy what is going on at that moment. Don't anticipate anything. Don't plan a future with him when you don't see the future, when he's not showing you commitment and whatnot. Please, you are young. Enjoy. Enjoy your baby. Humble your puza. Don't let any guy tell you good him or puza or wrong. Especially if you're in varsity. Varsity, go wild, have fun, but stay focused. Remember why you were there and enjoy your life. Um, point number five. Let's talk about this. Don't be afraid to date multiple people. Don't take me out of context. I'm talking about dating, not a relationship. Don't be afraid of dating multiple people. I'm talking to people in, let's say, 19 years old over because you're at varsity at this point and you're meeting a lot of people and you're about to start your adult life What is dating dating is the process of selecting a, a suitable partner to get into a relationship with You cannot meet a guy and already qualify him as a candidate to be in a relationship with him He cannot it's, it's impossible trust me. I've been there. I've done that multiple times and I've done it enough for me to come here and to tell you that it's not viable it doesn't work that way you need multiple people so if you get shared by five guys 
give all of them your number let them show interest let them take you out on ice cream dates let them take you out for coffee let them um spend on you let them have fun with them um this is good in what way let me explain it to you when you have five guys that are showing interest in you all of these five guys are working towards um building something with you building a relationship with you so they are all going to show you the potential however within the process of them showing you the potential they are also going to show you your their strengths their weaknesses and these are the things that you will identify and later decide if these are the things you want to experience in a relationship so it's even better when you have more options because you can choose from that group of people Uguti, i don't want this this one doesn't know how to cook and I need a man who's going to cook for me. I'm not going to be the one who's always cooking a rest. This one is broke, whatever it is. But this will help you identify a strong suitor. And if five of them are still not the strongest suitor, you can let all of them go and start the dating process again. However, you need to be very smart about it, baby girl. First of all, close your cookie jar. If there's one you trust that you've been speaking to for a longer time within that group of five he will be the exception and maybe you can get sexually active with him but be sexually active with one person only protect yourself the world is a very very mean place and you don't want to find yourself sick whether with hiv and aids or with an std so always always protect yourself and always bring your own condoms baby girl it's the 21st century we are in 2020 we no longer wait for the guy to bring the condoms you bring your own spice you are the chicken and it who pets spice yes you protect yourself and you make sure that you are in a position that will always give you power number six when it comes to being sexually active in your early 20s i always make it a point that you educate yourself not only about sex but about contraceptives about practicing safe sex and about protecting yourself because whether we like it or not it's a reality that most of our youth is um, infected with this crazy disease that we can't seem to cure but we can manage so nine times out of ten you are better off being very 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 um conscious of the people you sleep with number one that's why i said bring your own condoms carry your own condoms you have nothing to lose is sex yes in nand but you don't want to end up depressed and not being able to finish varsity because you wanted a good time in your tabo and tabo gave you an sti that is not healing and you i don't know what but you need to be very smart about it be conscious of the people you sleep with when you go out go out with your girls and make sure that you guys protect each other you protect each other you go back to rest nipelele you go back home nipelele so be very conscious of the people you sleep with out here as much as we would like to pretend that it's not a reality unfortunately it's a reality and we as your older sisters need to talk to you about it please 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 if you can um, carry your own condoms do not sleep with every guy you meet it's fun i know but when we talk about it in a more serious aspect we don't want you falling pregnant for no reason and you don't you don't even have someone to call a baby daddy up. so be very conscious of the people you sleep with point number seven familiarize yourself with birth control and good feminine hygiene Let's speak about birth control first if you are in varsity or you're in high school you've been introduced to clinics right please make it a point that you go if you feel like you're ready to have sex nine times out of ten at that age you are better off on birth control yes we talk about the side effects yes we talk about how it makes you sick but you're better off sick with side in effects than to have a whole entire baby that you need to take care of for the rest of your life and the dad is most probably not going to be involved these are things we need to talk about these are things we need to address so please if you can get birth control there's different types you don't even need to go to a local clinic if you feel like you'll be judged you can go for a consultation at either clicks or Discam, and they will tell you what your options are there's the patch there's the iud there's the copper iud 
there's pills there is um, the two different types of injections so if you already have a child they can offer you the depot injection if you don't have a child they'll tell you about the nostrate injection which you take every two months the depot is every three months if you want to use the patch the patch has no I don't think it affects your hormones and you just put it on your body and yeah it's just there so educate yourself when your nurses and your teachers speak to you please listen please you are not as smart as you think you are you're still learning you're still learning you're still gonna experience a lot of things you're still gonna experience a lot of disappointments but don't let a baby be one of them especially when you're not ready whether it's mentally whether it's physically whether it's financially you know um, we are here to speak to you about it um, feminine hygiene when you are growing up your hormones are going to change which means you become a bit more sensitive and when you start being sexually active it just happens whether you like it or not that you your partner is going to transfer bacteria to you so it's very essential that you familiarize yourself with bathing more often you familiarize yourself with drinking a lot of water you familiarize yourself with eating a lot of foods that promote good bacteria that will always keep your um, ph balanced so in cases where you feel a little itch or you feel a little discomfort or a little odor what usually works for me i'll do a video dedicated to this but just for a little summary what usually works for me is bathing regularly um, using tea tree oil when I bath it helps with bad odors or whatever and it's a natural remedy So you don't have to worry about getting a burning sensation or it making you uncomfortable in any way Always always have vaginal cream You will get a bit of a rash every now and then if you're sexually active Even if you're not you still get a rash you'll get a yeast infection you get a UTI so vaginal cream usually helps a lot so if you go ask for it at a pharmacy or your doctor they'll usually tell you and the box will tell you how to use it drink a lot of water it helps a lot with cleansing um, your system as a whole and your urinary tract so um, a lot of people tend to say that you should drink like cranberry juice it does help it does help but it, it doesn't get rid of infections it just helps to keep you clean and whatnot but it doesn't get rid of infections if you have an infection please 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 consult either your nearest clinic or go see your general practitioner um, or go to a doctor yeah if you have a, an infection don't try and treat it at home nine times out of ten it won't work however if you have a yeast infection what I have found has been working for me is not drinking um antibiotics so what i do to prevent them is i very often take a probiotics i always have either yogurt or kombucha and you can have if you have access to kimchi you can have it anything that is fermented usually helps a lot because it has probiotics so it's going to help you help to balance your um your pH and it helps to get rid of foul smells and whatnot so yeah when I have a um, bacterial vaginos vaginosis which is BV or if I have a yeast infection I do not use antibiotics and the method that I use have, has been working for me so if you feel like you want to use it you can use it I just did it and yeah when you're on your periods please bath often change your tampon every three to four hours change your pad i don't know i don't use pads so i don't know how often you have to but i think as soon as it gets full change it wear panty liners when you're on your period if you're using a tampon um use wipes when you're on your period and when you're not on your period when you pee use wipes instead of toilet paper it just keeps you fresh for longer and yeah just educate yourself if you can i'll do a dedicated video to feminine hygiene all right point number eight when you date please find someone you can gain something from it doesn't have to be finances but someone you can learn from it's always better to date a smart guy guys 
not to steal law or the shopping yamakulin at Melu which will be a school in and then he'll be walking you home now you're not gonna learn any from anything from him and he's most likely going to advise you against going to varsity so stay away from Usteve. Usteve is not gonna do anything for you my love so when you're dating find someone you can learn from always associate yourself with the with the smart guys you see those guys about under emails and science about under about accounting economics hang around with them they are your ticket to to going far in life and if you sang in school you see those guys hang around them they are going to help you study and also pass. be smart be smart about it sorry so sorry about the weather it's so bad but anyway yeah be smart about it be strategic gain something man as a project my project so that he can help you with your project so he can help you with your schoolwork how we can't teach you everything now but you must also think Find yourself a man. Low where where on NS fast who's obtaining my textbook. He'll buy you textbooks, he'll buy you lunch. <laughs> I know it sounds wrong, but learn from an early age to get people who invest in you in any way. It doesn't have to be money, but he has to contribute in some type of a way. So this is where my video ends. Thank you so so much for tuning in and watching my channel my video yeah <laughs> watching my video i hope you loved this video and i hope it was very informative i'll be doing more videos so for more suggestions please state them in the comment section i'll be reading your comments and i hope to see positive feedback thank you so much for tuning in i'll see you in my next video